Have a look at the huge Palazzo della Cancelleria at the north corner of the Campo dei Fiori. And if the big doors are open, take a peek inside at the impressive courtyard, which has a large two-level loggia all around it, built partly with stones and columns scavenged from the ancient theater of Pompeii. This palazzo belongs to the Vatican State, and as such is not officially part of Italy, but it's extra-territorial, sovereign property of the Catholic Church. The Vatican is still owner of many extra-territorial areas in the city. Nothing was totally lost when Italy gets unified in year 1870. Meander alongside the palace on the little alley to the left called Via Pellegrino, named for the pilgrims who used to trod this route on their way to the Vatican. Notice the doorway on your left-hand side, through the iron gate that is generally open. There might be some graffiti on the walls, but don't let that stop you. And you can walk right into a typical residential courtyard. As long as you're quiet and respectful, the neighbors won't even notice you're standing there. Have a look around at this scene, which is so picturesque it has appeared in postcards and books. You might see a few cats scampering around, perhaps a neighborhood dog or two wandering through. So take a few snaps and appreciate this tranquil residential beauty. Continuing along Via Pellegrino, cut through the first alley on your left to Via di Capillari, through the graffiti scarred arch, and then turn left returning to Campo di Fiori. One of the better restaurants in this neighborhood is Diti Rambo. Buongiorno, sono Dado del ristorante di Virambo, in piazza della Cancelleria accanto a Campo dei Fiori. E la nostra cucina verte su materie prime di qualità e le cose le facciamo tutte fatte in casa. La signora qui sta facendo i ravioli, sta facendo i biscotti per il dopopasto, e i pani, i dolci sono qui tutti quanti fatti in casa. 